Welcome back. This is our final video to end our color mixing lesson. These are the things you're going to need in order to do this lesson. You need your painting, preferably a piece of scratch paper that goes under, that can fit under your painting that no one needs to use any longer, uh, your color wheel, uh, your sharpie, and your and a pencil. Okay. I have Sarah here with me. She's ready to start. This is her artwork. I have my artwork ready, and we're going to begin. So all we are doing today is we are going to sharpie the pencil marks of our drawing that's underneath our painting. We are going to, and the last thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure our names are on the back of everything. Our names are going to be back on the back of our color wheel and our names are going to be back on the back of our painting. Um, I'm going to show you what an example of what it's going to look like once it's sharpied. If you see here, this is Sam's. It makes it really pop, all the um, distinct differences between where the colors meet. And you see he did yellow on these two, so you know they're not all together. Like right, I, right. Like I did um, that all of it, that all of orange, and I'm going to put it, um, a line in the middle of it. Okay, so you're going to separate each section with your Sharpie by adding the Sharpie line? Mm -hmm. Okay. There was one example, um, here's another example of it once, once it's all sharpie. okay? So that's what we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna go over what we always go over. Sarah, do you wanna read it? Sure. Go ahead and stand up. Keep these things in mind while you're doing the very last video here. Number one, always try your best. Number two, if you get first aid, take a deep breath. Count to 10, take a deep breath, and try again. Number three, art with is the, everyone's art will turn out differently. Your artwork is uniquely yours. Number four, art is not perfect. And number five, I made up this one, but it's not on the list. That always has fun. Thank you, Sarah. All right, let's get started. Get that scratch paper underneath your painting so that you do not... Um, Wait, should, do we write our name first? I'm going to do that at the very end. So get the scratch uh, paper underneath your painting uh, so that whatever surface you're writing on, it doesn't bleed onto it and ruin it. And I have a large Sharpie, a thick Sharpie, because I have a really big area right here and I want to make sure that you see it very nicely. Okay, can we start? So all you're going to do is you are going to trace all of your pencil lines in. My it's advice... It's going to be like 12 minutes. You think it's going to be 12 minutes? Yeah, I'm okay. going to do so what you're gonna do is you're gonna start from the very top and you're gonna work your way down. Okay, that is my advice to you. When you go from the bottom and work your way up, things can smudge. If you're right-handed, I want you to start on the left and work your way right and down. If you're left-handed, start on the right and work your way left and down. I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna work on the Start on the left. So Sarah says she's right-handed, she's gonna start on the left. Wait, and work why? your way right. Wait, but why do we even have to do that? So okay. that we make sure the Sharpie doesn't smudge on accident. Oh, so, oh, oh, yeah, because then if you put your... If you put your hand down on it, it could smudge. Yeah, right. Hopefully yeah. not. Okay, so you get started. I'm going to get started. Mm -hmm. Sarah's going to get started. I'm going to start with my um, outside. Your outside line? All right, I'm starting up here. See how it's it's getting bold and popping? Take your time, go nice and slow, go at your pace. This is not a race. This is the final touch to this art lesson. And you wanna make sure that you take your time and you do your best. All that sound. Do you like that sound or you don't like that sound? Mm, well, I don't really care. You don't care? Sammy, um, we did Sammy's class yesterday. I videoed with Sammy and he did not like the sound. He felt like it gave him like the shit, chills. like the chills. Yeah. I don't really care. Doesn't bother you? No, not really. Sammy didn't even like the way it felt on his hand rubbing against the paint. He, oh, yeah. He didn't like the way it felt. It's kind of like vibrating. We all have our own sensitivities to things, right? Okay. Yep. So I, I'm working my way. I decided to do. Uh, my big circle. I'm going 
gonna go. Wait, mom, look at his. Uh -huh. Like here. This. I'm marking this right. Yep, yeah, you're doing great. Yep, yeah, keep going. Uh, you might find that you might want to get your um, entire balloon really bold and thick, and so you might do a couple layers of tracing so that it's a little bit more thick, or there might be a certain area in your balloon that you want to do that. That's up to you. Well, you have a uh, the thick sharpie. If you I, have one, then I do. you can might use it. Yeah. I didn't let them. Um, no, yeah, I mean, it's whatever you have in, in your home that you feel would be a good uh, material to use. I am recommending you use the, the Sharpie. The sh Sharpies work best uh, up against paint. They last longer and they're, mo they're the most bold and you've got a Sharpie in your, uh, as part of your materials that were handed out for your art materials. So um, yeah. I think that's the best thing to use. Sarah's saying that if you might have a thicker Sharpie at home that you want to use, maybe. If you have it. If you don't have it, then just trace over it a lot. Yeah. Like I did. I traced over a lot right there. Okay. You want to show them how you made that line bold and thick? She traced over it a couple times. Yeah, you can do that. So Sarah's working her way down. I'm working my way down. And I'm right-handed, so I'm starting from the left, and I'm working my way right. Me too. If you're left-handed, you're starting on the right, and you're working your way left. Whoa. Get all the lines traced over. Sarah, are you feeling like yours is like popping more? Um, like the de bit. the details are popping out more? Yeah. I just did a straight line down like this. Like the definition between your colors? I just did a straight line down like that. Great. Awesome. So I'm feeling like as I'm tracing this that my the, the, the definition between my two colors is very distinguished now. There's a, a clear border between my orange and my green here. I'm doing my triangles. This is going to be a really quick end of the lesson compared to the other videos. So this yep. is a short video. A really, a really short one. A really short one. And you can just do this on your own even, right, Mom? Yeah, absolutely. Like, if we're going too fast, it's okay. Just do it after the video. It's okay. Yeah, if, if Sarah and I, if our video finishes before you're done. It's okay. Please. You just keep going. Yeah. It, it won't take you too long. I think you could do this in one sitting. One sitting, not city. Yeah, one time sitting down to do this. I think you'll be good to go. You don't have to pause or anything. All right, I'm almost done with my balloon. I'm doing my swooping lines down here. Me too, Mom. Are you finishing up your balloon, Sarah? Are you getting towards I'm the bottom a, of it? Um, I'm a little bit more than halfway down. A little more than halfway down? Yeah. Maybe if you have some music at home, you want to turn some music on. Mm-hmm. All right, this isn't, oh, well, I would get one this isn't very technical. I didn't even know if that was Make sure you're getting all your lines, all your beautiful lines. Oh, I forgot to get these circles. Okay, I did my whole top of my balloon. I did my segments coming off the top here. I'm finishing off my segments. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm all the way done with this. I'm moving this way. I'm gonna do the bottom of my balloon. I'm finishing my balloon, Mama. You're finishing the top of your balloon? You're doing great. Awesome, beautiful. All right. I'm doing this oval shape right here. And you know what always happens, Sarah? Always, every year that I 
And every grade that I do this in, you want to know what always happens? Uh, what? Something's my favorite. No. So every year, all the kids come up to me and go, oh, look, I'm done. Look, I'm done. And then I go, oh, let me see. And they say, oh, I want you to look. Because and they always forget something. I always forget a line or two or yeah. ten. T tell your mom, um, mommy, do I have any more lines? Because you might, like, don't see it, but your mom and dad might. Yes, that's a great, I love that suggestion. Even though you think you're done, go to an adult in your house and say, can you? It could be a grandma or a grandpa or uncle or aunt. Anybody. Anybody who, who, is, in there. A, who is an adult in your house and say, hey. Wait, what if did it's I, a babysitter? Or babysitter. Did I trace all my lines in Sharpie? Ask them. Can you check? Can you check this with your eyes? I, I need another set of eyes looking. Because <laughs> sometimes yeah. we don't always catch everything. Yep. All right. I just did my basket. Then when you're older than your kids might do our, if you have kids. Yeah. And then you have to look at theirs. So That's like, true. Hmm, let me see here. I just have a few more lines. Sarah, how are you doing? Oh, I think it's okay. All right. Okay. All right. I just did my last line. Now mine's really bold. Is it okay, really Mama? Bold. If you like, if you your sharpie is a little bit. Yeah. Can I show them that? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna show them that. This could happen where you're doing your Sharpie line and it doesn't quite uh, match right in between the two colors. And that's okay, right? Yeah, that can happen. So Sarah's wrapping oh, hers okay. up. Wait, you're done? I finished. Oh my God. So Sarah's wrapping hers up. I'm all done. Oh my. You might still be tracing yours. Do not rush, take your time. This is at your own pace. But what I'm going to have Sarah do, she's just going to finish this diamond that she's working on, and I'm going to have her stop for a second to show you something. Can you cap your, your Sharpie real quick? Yeah, just I want, I, want the, I want you to show them something, okay? So Sarah, Sarah is right here, okay? But I'm going to end the video here in about a minute or so, and then you can wrap it up. But what I want... I'll do it 12 minutes. Yeah, we're at 12 minutes. What I want you to do is I want you to take your, your uh, art composition and your color wheel, both of them. Grab your pencil. Right now, stop. Cap your Sharpie. Cap stop. It. Cap your Sharpie. Turn everything over, and I want you to write your name in pencil. It doesn't matter if it's like, if it's like this here. To write it, you can do it like that. You can do it anywhere on the back. So write your name in your neatest handwriting so I can read it. And your teacher can read it. Every, your teacher's going to want to know, who's is this when you turn it in, right? Can you read so that? she wrote her Sarah wrote her name on the back here. All right, one more time. Write your name. I'm doing a little bit so you can see it because all the Sharpie is there. All right, Sarah wrote her name nice and big right here. She is going to keep going. You're going to keep okay. going. And I'd like you to finish before you get up, okay? I'd like you to just finish off. Go grab an adult and say, look. Can you see if I have any lines that I haven't traced? And then once that adult gives you the thumbs up, you're all done, then you're all done. And you will be able to bring your art lesson. Can you, you, you can slow down, honey. Hang on, let's just finish this, okay? And then you can keep going. You're gonna bring all your artwork back to the November pickup date, okay? So make sure you have it all paper clipped together. All the art that you might have at your house Paper clip it all together, bring it back for the November material handout date, and hand your artwork in, and then you're gonna get new supplies for the next lessons, all right? We have um, just a couple more lines that Sarah's doing. I'm gonna sign off. Sarah, you wanna sign off? Say bye. Sure, bye. <laughs> okay, bye. We'll see you guys for the next lesson. I'm almost done. Done. Okay. There we go. You I'm got done it. With the whole thing. All right. You wanna say goodbye? Bye. Hope you guys like my and my mom's.